Hey guys, welcome to Sanskrit Nuggets and today we are talking about languages. Now, in South Africa we have 11 official languages, 12 if we include the South African Sign Language. When we watch TV, most of the time you can tell which languages are the predominant languages. Now for people of color, Zulu, Xhosa and Zwana are the most popular languages and then you have English and Afrikaans. So if you find yourself being a person of color and you only speak English and Sibedi, then you definitely want to make sure you learn Sitswana, which is not too far off from Sibedi, and maybe try to learn some Zulu or Kosa, depending on if your tongue is able to move in that direction. Because when they're looking for roles, they often are looking for roles to fit different kinds of um, language gaps, if I could call it that. So when you check out different broadcasters, you can hear from the different channels which languages they prioritize. So it's quite essential for you to take note of that so that you're able to broaden your opportunities by being able to speak various languages or just be able to hold a conversation in those languages. You don't have to be 100% fluent, but if you're able to hold a conversation, you're able to understand, then it will definitely broaden your aspects or broaden your opportunities when it comes to booking roles. Because most of the time what happens is our roles are often a 70-30 kind of role um, in terms of language. So they'll say 70% um, any vernacular language of your choice. That's kind of the language they like to use. And then 30% English. So now when you go and audition, maybe you're Tsonga like myself, and you'll do 70% Tsonga and 30% English. And then they really liked your performance, but they don't really like the Tsonga part because maybe the parents of my character are both Zulu and they've already cast the parents. So then they might say, can you do that in, in Zulu? Can you speak Zulu? So if you're like me, I'll say yes, but I'm not fluent and I will need a heads up so that I can practice at home prior to coming on set so that I have time with the script and I can work on it and I can call up a friend or I can call up a tutor just to help me out with some pronunciation and articulation of the words if that makes sense. So it's quite important for you to make sure that you're able to diversify yourself when it comes to languages, especially in South Africa. Now, it's not to discourage you if you feel like, oh my gosh, I struggle to learn languages. Yes, we're not all good at everything, but at least try. Give it your best, give it a shot, and if it really doesn't work out, then the least you can do is make sure that you are really fluent in your mother tongue and also really fluent in English, so that you can at least be able to nail those. Because it gets even more challenging if you're a person of color and you're only fluent in English and you're not fluent in any other language. So it's quite essential that you, you diversify yourself when it comes to language in South Africa. I really hope this helped somebody. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for the comments that we're getting and continue, continue sharing with us. And um, we'll see you next week.